Welcome back to Kanto Slang, everybody. And Serena Hi. is with us for one more episode. Yay! Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> and today I got some really old slang for you. Oh, good. Maybe and I can guess it. The first one is this. Okay, well, that is gold and mountain. No idea what that is. It's so gold mountain. Gold gold mountain. Old gold mountain. Old gold mountain. Old gold mountain. Uh, go somewhere and get a pile of cash. <laughs> I uh, wish. Golden coins. Um, mm -hmm. Go find some golden coins. Okay. I don't know. And, and what is it? It means San Francisco. Mm. Oh, San Panti. Yes. And, uh, San but it doesn't. Yes, Sanpanti. because because of the gold rush. See, uh, okay. A long time ago, Chinese people would go over uh, because they hear about the gold rush and they think that it's a gold mountain over there. Mm. Right? Did you know why it's called Gao Gong San and not just Gong San? Do you know why? No, I don't know. Gao Gong San. Because Gao Gong San is a new Gong San. Oh, he sounds like Gao Gong San. Oh, sorry. So we were just saying, <laughs> yeah. about? after it's the okay, gold though. rush in San Francisco, the next gold rush was Melbourne, right? So, oh, okay. So okay. this becomes the old gold mountain. And or, uh, like hundreds of years ago, I think in the mid 1800s. Mm. This was actually San Francisco was only called Gamsan, and really then afterwards it became Gao Gamsan. I did okay. not know that. <laughs> um, I also know that a lot of Chinese went over to the U.S. to build the railroad. Mm. Um, right. What was that? In about the same time, right? Yes, railroad was, was being built kind of during the Gold Rush, and in fact, people um, uh, like after the Opium War in Canton, there was a went into a depression. So a lot of people need to find work and they thought they were going to Gamsan, like the gold uh, mountain for the gold, yeah. but they ended up being sold for slavery. Wait, wasn't there a TV show? Yes, Warrior. Warrior, <laughs> yes. Our good friend that, Jason Tobin. Well, yeah, was about the building of the railroad, right? It's about the people who got, who built the railroads and then after mm. they were used, um, they have nowhere to go but to go to Chinatown. Really interesting, what else do we have? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, 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 that means one unit of a wheel. Ge lun. Don't know. What is that? Put go lun. Put, put go lun. What does put that mean? Is, put means like sweep or like. Oh, to sweep away? Or put your yes. hair. Put yes, put my wipe. hair. Put my hair. Put my hair. Yeah. Wipe yeah. Wheel. Now, to wipe is, a wheel. Yeah, so just like Gao Kam San. This one is a rather old slang, so, so it's like fading out and people slowly have forgotten what it means. I have no idea. No, no idea. Oh no, I have no idea at all. How about Ines? Do you think um, that like, is wiping wipe the wheel? wheel. Wipe, wipe the, the wheel. wheel. Well, maybe it's like the dry swimming, the mahjong thing. So maybe it's um, g gambling? Wipe the wheel, you know, like oh, wheel of fortune. Oh. Um, I'm thinking, you know, the 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 when you gamble and you go doo -doo -doo with the dice and throw it in and make it spin uh, all the way around. Is it wrong guess? Oh. Good try. <laughs> it means to dial the telephone. Oh right. Oh, right. Oh, right. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. phone. So it's common for my for my generation. Okay. Wipe the wheel. I I never had that kind of phone. wheel to find you. I did never have that. <laughs> I, actually, right. I actually don't know how to dial dial a phone. You know, on the. Have phone. you ever seen one? I, I've seen one, okay. but I don't know how how that works. Yeah. So it is common uh, uh, to use this as a goodbye as well. So oh, uh, okay. See you later. <laughs> see you later. Or, or call me. Great. Okay. Really fun. 